Welcome back to the So Far So Good Podcast. My name is Christopher Coombs. And my name is Gaurav Kazanchi. Welcome back, everybody. Lovely to have you all tuning in on this beautiful day uh, in Melbourne, where we've had absolutely unbelievable weather. It's been unbelievably consistent, yeah. and I love hot weather. I also love hot weather. Do you know? Do you ever get, you know when... It's been gloomy and winter weather for so long mm-hmm. that when you get like a day of sunny weather, you get this nostalgic feeling of summer. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And you have all these good memories of the summers in your past years. 100%. And good weather changes everything. Changes your mood, your mindset. It, it literally changes how your day is going to pan out. 100%. Like quite literally because, you know, it's just the weather. I mean, I never thought we'd talk about the weather again for so long, but here we are. It's <laughs> As like, usual. Have you ever smelt a deodorant you used to use like 10 years ago? Mm. And then you smell it now and then you get all these memories from that time of oh, your yeah. life? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good old Lynx Africa, Lynx- baby. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's, I think it was the Red Rexona. I don't think they make it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, you know the Lynx Africa. Link, oh, dude. It's the best present of all time. It... <laughs> and as you get older, you appreciate that as a present. You yeah. go, oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean... Whereas you used to go, oh, mum, you got me you got me deodorant, <laughs> you sock. Whereas now I'd be like, thank God, you made me not have to buy it. Yeah, dude, you know what? Socks are actually a great gift. Oh, socks are the best thing in the world. Yeah. But I wear the same socks every day because... <laughs> you, you know the work socks? tradie work socks, but he's not a tradie. Well, guess what? I bought new socks. I'm wearing them right now and I'll show you. Okay. They don't sell the same socks with work anymore. Now, they say heavy duty. Look at that. Yeah. Are they talking about you? Because it makes you look like a truck then. <laughs> well, I don't know. I am pretty heavy duty. So... Yeah, yeah. I mean... But they're the best socks in the world. I can't, I can't go past them. Questionable, but uh, I'll give you that for now. Because Com- I comfort comfort wise, comfort wise, yeah, socks in the world. fair call. I once got these thermal wool socks that were holeproof. I think the brand was actually called Holeproof. Yeah, uh, and I got them for work at one of my old jobs, and they were fantastically. Are they the super furry ones? No, it's not super furry, but it was it was like thick, and it it fit my foot really snugly, mm. and it didn't you know it never really stretched out or wore out or anything. And it was quite literally holeproof, and it was thermal, so it kept my feet either like at a good temperature, or it stopped it from getting super hot. It was a very physical job. Yeah, wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, quite good. besides the point, but <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's move on. To, so, as usual, we will begin with our introductory questions. Gorav, you can go first on this one. Yes, that's right. Now, uh, quite topical in Melbourne, actually, proper topical, not not wrong definition topical. Uh, cinemas have started to open up, so I was just curious, Chris. That is topical. <laughs> that is very topical. You know why it's topical? Because it's relevant. No, because you can argue whether they should be opening <laughs> or shouldn't. Does not so mean... it makes it a, an argument. Should they be opening with this virus happening? Shouldn't they? I don't know. It's 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 topical. It's up for debate. That's not what it means. But besides the point, <laughs> Chris Coombs, have you ever <laughs> been to the movies? Yeah, heaps by of yourself. Times. No, ah. but I remember once in high school, um, our friend Chris, his name was also Chris. Yes. Um, I remember we went to good old Fountain Gate Shopping Centre. Yep. Um, for all of you around the world, search up Fountain Gate and then you will learn uh, a bit closer to where we live. But, so uh, we live nearby. If you're international, you'll have to add in Melbourne, Australia, Victoria. <laughs> Don't just type in Fountain Gate. You'll start seeing fences with fountains or something. <laughs> Yeah, so good old Fountain Gate. Uh, we went there, you know, to muck around, go to tons of fun. Yeah. You know, the usual teenager sort of thing. Your standard high school day. Yeah. yeah, I think there was maybe five or six of us. Yeah. And then we walk past the movies and Chris just goes, Oh, guys, um, I'll catch you later. I'm just going to go watch this movie that I've been wanting to watch for so long. And I was like, Oh, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Were you like, cool invite? <laughs> Well, not even that. None of us wanted to go to the movies, but he really wanted to watch this movie. Okay. So he just went at, let's say, I reckon 16 years old. Yeah. He just went to the cinema and just watched a movie by himself. 16-year-old kid. Is that not the weirdest thing you've ever heard? It's See, I always thought it was weird going alone, but I feel like I want to try it now one time. Yeah, I mean, I prefer to go with people. Me too. That's why, like... (laughs) I feel like it's part of the experience, you know, just vibing with everyone that you're there with. Yeah. 
And yeah. it's just good. Like you feel like comfortable and warm knowing that people you know are there. With the, and then you can like if it's something that you and your friends have been waiting for, you can react with them. You know, like yeah. oh my god, I can't believe that happened. But I can't imagine me doing that like by myself. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. wouldn't. You wouldn't make a sound if you were by yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah, true. But what makes you ask that question? I was just curious because I know I've never been to it, and I, I've recently had conversations with people, and you know, a few of them had been alone. I'm like, maybe this is the thing I've missed out on. Hmm. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Yeah, maybe was... maybe we should go to the movies alone together. We'll go together <laughs> on the same day, but we'll watch a different movie each, <laughs> and then exit at the same time. Oh yeah, we could try and we could chat about. We could try and muster that up. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we'll see how we go. Now, my question to you is relating to your favorite topic in the world. Okay. Gardening. <laughs> it was it was either going to be cheese, gardening, or dinosaurs. <laughs> Didn't yeah. know what you could say. Well, gardening. So, Gorev hasn't stopped talking about gardening for the last few weeks. So, I thought I would ask him this question. Gorev Kazanchi, out of all the tasks yep. that you do in the garden... Yep. What is your least favorite task? That is a really good question. I believe I've asked you what your best task is before. Yeah. And I believe you said pressure washing I the I concrete. Like, <laughs> yeah, I said I like pressure washing in general, but I think I stuck with mowing the lawn because that's like an all-time favorite. Okay. You, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you, you asked me what my cleaning job in general was my favorite. Yeah. But, uh, you know. And just while you think, I'll, I'll just say something real okay. quick um, about mowing. I saw this meme on, I think it was Instagram, on one of these dad pages. They're yeah. pretty pretty funny dad memes. Yeah. I think it's Neat Dad. <laughs> yeah. Neat Dad. <laughs> Are you on that page? Neat Dad. No, I, I don't think I've seen it. I would have shared you a, a couple of their posts. Um, I might just bring up the... I might actually bring up the meme and uh, see what it says. So, oh, here it is. So... Okay, so the text is Dad's after running the lawnmower for two minutes and then he's like drinking this like hardcore... Uh, oh, he's drinking a light beer. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, where I'm getting at with that is... Oh, and he's like full sweating and everything. Yeah. Um, now, this is after two minutes of mowing the lawn. Now, where this doesn't make sense to me at all is that I honestly think mowing the lawn is probably one of the easiest things in the world. 100%. You're literally just walking. Yeah. And yeah. the mower... Uh, the mowers have wheels. They're not yeah. heavy. So they, you just you push it, and it's not very heavy. It's got wheels. <laughs> it's, don't you think it's like really easy? It, why why do people seem like it's such a oh, it's such a big task? Oh, I've got to mow the lawns. Yeah, like it's, it's so easy. I know what you mean. I I feel like that comes into when you haven't mowed the lawn in a very very long time, and you know it's going to be an effort. But see, for me recently, I've been mowing it like every week. So yeah. It's easy. Which actually happened to me last weekend. I did mow the lawns last weekend, which I hadn't mowed for a while because I had a tree falling down and yeah. I had to get some stuff done before I could mow the lawns. And the backyard, I had to, I had to like, you know, the, the tray that catches all the, yeah, the, all the grass clippings. Yeah. yeah. I had to empty that probably 10 times. Yeah. It fills up quickly, man. It fills yeah, up really quickly. quick. The, the, I reckon the shorter it is, the quicker it fills up because the less it actually gets stuck and the more it's actually getting filled. So, yeah, it's quite a... Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what is your least... Now you've had time to think. What th is your least favourite gardening? I I think it's going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say weeding. Weeding, so yeah. finding the weeds, pulling out the weeds. Yeah. Weed killing is quite satisfying, but it's annoying because you have to wait like mm. a week for it actually to be dead. Um. A lot That's... of the time, I just pull it out. Weed killer is just like ensure that it's not going to grow back. Yeah. But, you know, then again, it'll still come back. See, that's interesting that you, you call that the worst gardening task. Because last <laughs> week, last week, uh, me and Caitlin had a, you could call it a double date gardening sesh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we had one of her cousins... Uh, and a cousin's boyfriend come around and help us do some gardening. Yeah. They were here for about five or six hours. It was intense. That's hectic. It was intense. Now, me and the guy... Yeah. Are we, are we naming names here or... I mean, it's up to you, man. It's your double date. Yeah, I haven't asked him. So, I'll just say... <laughs> I'll just say the guy and the girl, all okay. right? So, the guy that came over... Um, me and the guy were kind of chopping up this tree that fell down. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned before that a tree, the fell, tree down. fell down. So, we had to chop up the tree and... 
Like we had to saw it into pieces and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So we were doing that and clipping the tree and all that stuff, which was a pretty hard task in itself. Yeah. Um, but the whole time we were doing that, the girls were going around doing all the weeding. Okay. So does that mean that even though we thought we were doing the hardest task, yeah. were we actually stitching up the girls here? Possibly, because I don't mind doing a hard task. It's just, I just find it so annoying. It's an annoying mm. task weeding. It is. Because, like, I do... It's not really satisfying, is yeah. it? Oh, it is. Because like, yeah. you know when you pull it out and you actually get you, the root? You feel the oh. root, like, coming out from the core of the oh, air. That is satisfying. Like, that's at least one-tenth of an orgasm for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just, it's one of those annoying ones, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll have a I'll have a think about it because I don't know. It's just all round. Just it's just so much fun in general mm. gardening. So I'm just trying to think of the most annoying thing, which at the top of my head is just going to be weeding. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> So far, so good. Well, welcome back and thank you once again for tuning in. Now, as uh, as usual, we will kick off the episode with what are we drinking? But um, let's uh, let's three to one and open this. Dude, drink I was going to say the exact same thing. We should have three to one and said what should we say, but this works. Ready? All right, three, two, one. Yeah, that was pretty Close in sync. Enough. That was Close pretty enough. in sync. Cheers. All right, cheers it up. So top, bottom, middle. Now, Goro, before we have a sip, yeah. uh, you supplied today. So That's right. I will let you give a brief, what is this drink? Yes. Now, it is something that I believe we've both had a long, 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 long time ago. Mm. So I thought it'd be nice to revisit. In a faraway land. In a faraway land as well. Um, now, I believe, um, I may be wrong, I think it is also in other countries, but I believe this is... Cambodian Red Bull. Um, so on the actual can, it's it's like a short, stubby can. It's not your standard um, long, skinny Red Bull can. It's mostly gold. Uh, it's got red writing and blue writing, and it's got your Red Bull logo. Mm. Um, there is, I believe, I cannot confirm again, it's Cambodian writing on the front. Um, and then in English it says, Krating Dang Red Bull. Mm. 250. 250, which... So it's uh, obviously, yeah, the 250... 250 mils. It's 250 mils. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought it was like the... Yeah, anyway. Okay. All good. Should now, we take just a... quickly before we have a sip, um, cause I I, <laughs> I'm always interested in the sugar content. Of course. So now keep in mind that your average can of Coke has 39 grams of sugar. And it's 375 mils? 375 Three, mils. 335, something like now, that. Now this uh, Krutting Dang Red Bull... 250 mil, uh, the sugar content is exactly <laughs> 39 grams. Yeah, so look, I believe... It's a fair, and it's a mini can. It's a mini... It's small. Yeah. I, I don't think there was a um, sugar-free version. Otherwise, I would have got it in your consideration. No, 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 no. I, it's okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like I'm going to go drink 10 of these. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. But I, I'm just curious to see. Um, and I believe it would be quite caffeinated, you would think. Yeah, well, it is Red Bull, um, so it, well, it's got no, it's got your taurine and it's got your choline and all that eans, all the eans, trifolum, blah 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 blah, blah nanthine, which is caffeine. Yeah, it's got caffeine in it. Yeah, all right. Well, well, let's take a sip and uh, we'll cheers it up, top, cheers. bottom, middle for everyone playing along at home, and let's have a sip. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. It's not very fizzy. I don't think it's fizzy at all. It's like a it's like a flat Red Bull. It's like a Red Bull juice, essentially. And I, f- mm. I feel I could be wrong. It could just be you know a placebo effect, but it tastes like a stronger a placebo effect of what though? Of just looking at the can and expecting it to be different. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but compared to Red Bull, it, I feel like it has a stronger taste. But I could be wrong. You reckon? Yeah. I haven't had Red Bull in so long. Mm. Probably. Since before COVID hit. It's been a very... Yeah, it's not something I drink um, very often. But mm. it does... It You drink it, it tastes like Red Bull. But it's not fizzy. And I, I just believe it's got a stronger flavour. It's definitely sweet. It's less fizzy than normal, I reckon. Can you taste any fizz? No, like barely any at all. I legit think and there's, there's no there's fizz. And there's no bubbles in it. 
What's the expiry date on this? <laughs> no, no, I remember it being not fizzy the first time I've had this as well. Hmm, that's interesting. No, expiry date's January 2022. Yeah, I didn't so cheap out here. No issues there. <laughs> I didn't go to NQR and buy an out-of-date <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, man. This, um... Oh, some shops change expiry dates, but this one's printed on the can, so... Mm. You hope that's pretty legit. So it is nice. You'll probably be able to finish it in about four or five gulps because it's a small can. Mm. It is nice. I forgot how nice Red Bull tastes. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I as I said, I I have one hundred percent haven't had Red Bull since before COVID, and yeah. the only time I ever have Red Bull is with a Jaeger bomb. So maybe, <laughs> yeah, right. maybe um, nah, it's definitely flat, man. Because even yeah. Jaeger bombs, they're bubbly as they're bubbly. I I remember the first time having this. I'm um, thinking there's no, there's no fizz. I don't think it's meant mm. to be a fizzy drink. Interesting. Yeah. So that's cool in itself. Yeah, well, pretty good. So if you need a quick hit um, and you want to be unhealthy, then have one. <laughs> Go for it. Go <laughs> Have as many as you want. Nah, but it's quite a good drink. So not too shabby. We recommend. Now, I have a quick thing to mention. Um, mm-hmm. It's quite relatable. Now, at the So Far So Good podcast, um, look, we're, I guess, an entertainment podcast, but we like <laughs> to talk about relatable Nonsense. Yeah, that happens exactly right. to everybody every day. And I can guarantee I I can guarantee this has happened to everyone. Okay. In the world. I are, are you is it being born? Nah, let's say you've got to be over kind of <laughs> You've got to be over probably fifteen years old. Okay. So it's happened to everyone over fifteen, apparently. In some way. Okay. In I've got... some in some way, shape or form. Yeah. But I'm gonna give you the example of let's say We've just gone to the shops to pick up a few items. Yep. And then we're walking back to the car. Okay. So that's the example we're using right here. Yep. Now, if you're just planning to pick up a few things, you're not going to take a bag. No. Okay? Yep. And in this case, you're not going to need a bag. So we're not talking about bag share, if that's what you're thinking. (laughs) I was thinking that. (laughs) I knew it. As soon as I said it, I was like, oh no. (laughs) It's like the trigger word for bag share. Bag or share. (laughs) Exactly. So in this case, we're just gonna, we're just planning to pick up a few items. So we're not taking a bag. Okay. Now, when you plan to pick up a few items, you always end up getting a few extra. Correct. Okay. So when you go and pay for your items, you you put half in one hand, half in another hand, and you're just able to carry it. Yeah. Like you're just able to carry it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. This has happened to you many times. Yeah? All, all the time. I always yeah. forget bags. Yeah. And you're like walking back to the car and you're like, you're just carrying it with your two hands. Yeah. You get to the car and then you realize, oh no, how am I going to get my keys out to unlock the car? Oh, GG. Right? Yeah. And then you somehow manage to put, you know, something under your elbow, something, you manage to fit a few other things in your other hand and then you grab your keys and then when you grab your keys, you're holding the keys before you unlock the button. Well, this is, goes in my head. I don't know if it goes in other people's, but this is what happens in my head. And then I realize, okay, this wasn't that much of a struggle because I'm actually holding Holy everything yeah. now in one hand. <laughs> yeah. So I could have actually held so much more. Does that happen to you? Yes, all the time. Like, I've got sort of this wriggling method where I wriggle <laughs> everything into one arm and then I get my keys out. And then I unlock, but like I pause for a second so I know that nothing is going to go wrong. So I pause. Yep. It's like in those games where you build a tower and there's a second, like a three second countdown that you have to hold it for before you, before you win. Yeah. It's like that. I have to hold it for a second to make sure. That's like in Survivor. Almost every challenge. Yes, exactly. I know because of that one season I watched that you gave me. (laughs) Um, also, just quick reminder there, I held up my end of my deal. You've literally got a month to hold up your end of your deal. Yeah, easy. You have a TV that didn't fit in your car, and you still haven't seen Lord of the Rings. No, but at least now I have my own house, so I'll be able to watch it. <laughs> okay, but okay. But I need to watch it with people, so that's if right. people aren't free, well, that's out of my control. Anyway, It can continue. happen. I'll continue. So then, then I pause for a second. It's all good. I unlock. Another method I have is because I'm so familiar with my car keys and I know what pocket I put it in, I'll wriggle enough so that if I have a lot of items, I'm still like holding it with my, using my, like, you know, my chest, one elbow and like my whole other arm. Mm. And I'm wriggling my other, like my fingers to press the button 
but the keys are still in my pocket. Yeah, you know I've I mean? done that before. Yeah. yeah, and then I've still got enough space with my fingers just to like mm. pull the car door open. Yeah, I've done that many times as well, and I've I've learnt exactly how to find the button on my key. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I know the shape of my key, and I yeah. know the non-tapered end is the unlock button. Yeah, so I actually know on my keys that there's two dots coming out on the locks part. Yeah, yeah, and then I know obviously the unlock is just below that. So sometimes I do that, but. Yeah, the, the craziest thing is that half the time, you can actually carry everything in that one hand. If you yeah. really squeeze it a little bit more, you realize that, oh, I can actually carry this in one hand. So yeah. why was I stressed walking to the yeah, car? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like the thing, man. You, it's always until it's necessary, you won't realize the capabilities, right? Yeah, exactly yeah. right. All right, now, moving on. Do you remember how I told you... I don't know if I've mentioned it on the podcast, but I said my car battery is sort of dead because it wasn't being used properly over this lockdown period. I'm pretty sure it's not just the battery, yeah? <laughs> it's literally every piece of the car. Well, there are several <laughs> other things that can be fixed, but it's not necessary for the car to function. The main thing at the moment is the battery. Okay. Okay, so the reason I know is I jump-started it. It works fine. Um, well, as fine as it can be. Um, I drove it around to charge up the battery and then, you know... I stopped the car, turned it back on, it was dead. So yeah. I, I just needed to change the battery. Yeah. So I discovered that a little while ago, maybe about a month ago. And now because literally everything's starting to open up, I'm like, all right, I should just suss out my battery. I should just get a battery changed just so I can, you know, slowly fix my car or just start using my car at least. Yeah. So I was calling out and I realized I did something um, that I feel like I've done before. And I feel like this is relatable because it may have happened to... Many people. And I'm wondering if it's happened to you. So, I like set some times on, all right, I'm going to Google search, you know, car batteries and just find the best sort of quote or deal for a car battery, you know, because there's a lot of places out there to sell them. And then some people, you know, say free installation or it's cheaper if you're trading a battery, something like that. So, I'm just going to see what my best options okay. are. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know you could trade in a battery and get a better price. Yeah, something like that. Well, That's good, because it also gets rid of the old battery. Exactly. Which is who, not who easy to do. That? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm calling around. So it's a standard thing. I Google search car battery Melbourne or car batteries near me, and I get a whole list of Google business pages that I just go down calling. So I start doing that. I go down from the first one, and I just, I'm not really going in order. I'm just sort of going by distance from my place or yep, yep. what sort of looks the best. So I'm calling, I'm like, hey, you know, this is Gaurav, I'm just wondering if you have a car battery for so-and-so car, yep. can you give me a price? And yeah, that's just how they all work. You tell them the car model, they give you a price. Is this another bad customer service story? No, no. It's, I it's, feel it coming. It's, a, it's <laughs> like a, it's a silly mistake story. Okay, 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 keep going. So I've been calling around and at this point I'm sick of it because I've definitely paid way less for this car battery than I'm being quoted. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'm just going to keep going down calling other places up so then i call this number this is like i don't know let's say the 10th number let's say the seventh number i've called Jeez, you called a lot of people yeah i called quite a few there's, there's a lot so we're just places. calling to get prices just to get just yeah just to suss out like what my ballpark figure is yeah okay so then i call this number let's say the seventh number i'm calling i'm like hey do you have a if i give you my car model would you be able to give me a car battery price and he's like yeah of course so i give the car model so I'm giving the car model and the year. That, that, that's how it works. So I give him my car model and my car year. And then he goes, yep, yep. And then he pauses and he goes, hold on. Did you just call me like five minutes ago? <laughs> so you called the same place. I ended up calling the same place. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so what my method is, is I ask for the price and then I'll say, I'll try and change the subject because I don't want to get caught in a full sales pitch, right? Yeah. So I'll ask for the price, give me the price, and I'll be like, all right, cool, thanks. Do you, what time are you open till? They'll say five. I'm like, all right, no worries, thanks. So they're under the impression maybe I'll just pop in sometime before five. Yeah. And, you know, I don't have to be stuck on a long salesy phone call. Yeah. And it worked 100% each time. So I obviously also said it to this guy, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, thanks. You close at five. And then I've obviously called him accidentally back because I'm not going in a list order. I'm just like scrolling through. I'm like, all right, this is near me. This is near me. This is near me. I'm not really writing oh, so down. So it came up twice, you think? Nah, I think I think I was just, I thought I hadn't called him. And then I called him. And then he's like, did you just call me five minutes ago? <laughs> and then it clicked. I'm like, oh my God, I actually just did call this guy. 
<laughs> and my, yeah. now my whole secret's out because he, now he knows now I'm he knows you were just getting a surprise. <laughs> have you That's ever, hilarious. Have you ever done that, do you think? I have not called the same place accidentally, <laughs> um, but I have a different different method of getting off the phone. And I actually did the exact same method because I was telling you last week how I called the pest company. Pest, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I called a couple of different pra- places to get prices and whatnot. So what I do is when I get the price, I say, oh, okay, awesome. Well, let me just check with my partner and then I'll give you a call back. That's, that's, what that's I a good say. one. That's a good one. That's but a good then one. I feel bad because maybe they're like waiting for me to call them back. Yeah, um, possibly, but like... But what else do you say? Yeah. Do you say, oh, well, I'm not sure about the price. I'll, I'll check elsewhere. Like, you can't say that. Like, sometimes I just straight up say, oh, I'll have a... Let me have a, like, let me have a sus and I'll call you back or something. But, you know, I don't, I don't want them to think that... I'm going to lock it in. And yeah, exactly. Because it's happened before. I've been caught in a full like sales pitch. And they'll be like, you know, we've been around for like 30 years. And I'm like, I, really, I don't care. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, I'm just looking for a price. Which is why I'm like, I'm not even ashamed these days to like say, is this a no obligation free quote? And they'll say yes or no. Yeah, but the, the thing you got to remember, and because I've worked in sales before, yeah. is that sometimes the phone calls are monitored. So yeah. if a manager happens to listen, well then, you know, they were supposed to say this, supposed to say that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what can you do? Yeah, that's true. I mean, good methods, they all work. Uh, I reckon the the quick change subject to let them think you're still interested worked quite well. <laughs> that's It's a recent one I've started doing. Like, yeah. this, what time do you open? And then... They forget why you initially called and they may think you'll pop in. And, mm, you know, true. And it's not that big of a deal because they don't care if I actually come into store or not. Well, yeah. Yeah. They're probably not that fussed, I no, guess. No, exactly. But yeah, interesting stuff there. Now, uh, look, moving on. This is something very recent. Uh, it's related to Netflix, actually. Okay. Have you noticed... I don't know. It's been around for a few months now. Have you noticed how they've started doing... I don't know if this is in other countries either. It must be. How they started doing like a top 10 in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. top 10 of what people are watching at the moment. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah, so yeah. It, I don't know how often it changes, but it must be very like accurate. Yeah. So they'll, there's even a list. If you scroll down on the library, it'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10 in order of what's at that exact moment, what is most being watched yeah. in, in the country. So that's cool. I really like that feature because it, it shows me what's new and it shows me what's possibly really good to watch. Yeah. Anyway, so I started this movie, and I remember this movie being in the top 10, like in the lower end of the top 10, maybe in the 7 to 10, somewhere there, like a couple of weeks ago. Um, so a show? It's a, it was a movie. A movie, okay. It was that, that new Halloween Adam Sandler movie. Ah, uh, okay. Hubie Halloween. Hubie Halloween. I okay, was, okay. Yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah, so I went to watch it, and I think two days or the day before I watched it, it was number 10. And then the day I went to watch it, it wasn't on the top 10. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. It's been a while since it's been released. I'm just going to play it. it. It didn't affect my decision that much. I just remember it going down the top 10 list. Yeah. So I watched it. I finished it. So when I pressed play, it was not in the top 10. When I finished the movie and exited back into the library, it was now number 10 in the top 10. So it was back in. So I'm wondering, <laughs> is it my viewing? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> he reckons his view got him got him back to the top ten. I reckon is it my viewing that pushed it it was that final vote that let it go into number ten. How's the ego on this guy? I bet I bet you DM'd um Adam Sandler on Instagram what? and said you're welcome, no, bro. This is like this is more plausible than Chris saying, Oh my god, Corona beer sales have gone down, I'll buy a slap. No tomorrow. way. To Mine is way more. <laughs> Yeah, because if I buy a slab, I'm buying 24 bottles. You only watched the movie once. And I watched it once, and it got into the top 10 list. That's, yeah, wow. It must be that the movie's just fluctuating between 10 and 11. (laughs) It must be just... Possibly, possibly. right there. I remember seeing, I'm like, this was not number 10 when I pressed play. Yeah, well, man, I... I mean, look, it could be. You just never know. Look, I highly doubt it. I reckon there were thousands of people watching it at the same time. Yeah, it would have been thousands for sure. (laughs) It was nice to think that I made a difference. Yeah, but the interesting thing about any new Adam Sandler movie is it doesn't matter how good it is, people will watch it. (laughs) Because it's Adam Sandler. Because it's just an easy watch. 100%. Whether Whether it's good or bad... You can just you can watch any Adam Sandler movie and yeah. it's just easy. Like some people may disagree. The movie 
the movie critics. Um, I'm presuming people like Peter and Dayan, our friends. I would presume, <laughs> I would presume that those two absolutely hate Adam Sandler. I know Dayan does. Oh, I'm not I surprised. I don't know about Peter. I'll presume he does as well. Um, but look, if you just, you know, don't take it too seriously. <laughs> yeah. And you can watch any Adam Sandler movie. And I think especially people in Australia. Yeah. They, they love Adam Sandler. It's, I mean, I love him. He's, he's yeah, pretty he's good. A, he's a good guy. Good movies. It's the perfect, like, you know, time pass movie. Like, yeah. just watching something for the sake of having something on. Or if you've got a couple of friends over and you're just like, oh, we'll just chuck on a movie. 100%. Oh, let's just chuck the new Adam Sandler movie on. You know, you know it'll be a bit of a laugh. They, either way. Exactly. I'm a huge fan of background movies. So, oh my I know God. you hate it. This I know you hate it. This guy is... Okay. No, I'll tell you what it is. So, okay, sell it to me. Give I'll me have, your sales pitch. I'll have people over, right? So there'll be people over. And <laughs> okay, then... so what time do you close? <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> so I'll have people over. And I'll when people are over, I play music, right? Just at least to start off with. Play music just to like bump up the vibes a bit. Yep. And you know, it, shouldn't, it wouldn't be any awkwardness because we're all friends. But you know, it's just to you know, get the vibes <laughs> So there going. is awkwardness. No, just so there is really, a, just in case. You're really saying, no, nah, there's definitely, it's definitely not awkward. <laughs> but you know, music, it's a standard go-to. Yeah, definitely. But what I also like is putting on like a nonsense movie in the background. And my go-to is Transformers. So oh my! The he mo- always does this. He the, does the movie's this. on silent. It's just for visuals. It's just, it's just oh like, it's just. So there's something to look at if you just want to look at something, just for the sake of you know relaxing your eyes. You know, you've just finished a deep conversation with one of the guests at this gathering, and you're just looking around the room. You can just look at the blank TV. No, sorry, the non-blank TV with blank sound. Still feel the music, but you know you can just rest your eyes and take in some nonsense trash you know action actually it's not that trash I highly like those movies <laughs> most of them most of them I really understand I, I get what you're saying but I think maybe um, I don't know maybe you feel awkward around people <laughs> it's not about is that awkward. what it is it's not because the- he wants so- okay so if there's an awkward silence then he can look at the TV is that no, what you're saying it's not going to be an awkward silence because there's music playing constantly okay so then why do you need the TV you don't need it it's just I'm trying to be a good host and cater to let's say he's just trying to show off his TV let's say I have a friend <laughs> who is hearing impaired they can't hear the music so they can just watch the TV you don't have any hearing impaired friends. <laughs> but I'm saying, hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically. Okay, but you don't. So that reason is gone. So what other reason have you got? Okay, but don't you think it's <laughs> nice? Don't. You... Okay, when you go to a club or yep. a bar, right? Yep. There's like flashing lights and stuff everywhere. Why? You're not there to look at the lights, but it adds a nice vibe. Mm. But so this is not flashing lights. This is transformers it's, it's, on the TV. It's essentially flashing lights on the screen. So it's creating ambience, visual ambience. Ambience. So that's what you're trying to create. That, yeah, I'm creating ambience. Um, so there's different ambiences around. Mm. You can hear the music, so that's hearing ambience. And you can see the screen if you want to, so that's a visual ambience. So you're trying to emulate a bar vibe I'm in just, your house. I'm just trying to cater to, uh, to everyone that's there. Okay, but what if I really hate uh, a background movie? Yeah. Would you not put? Would you turn it off? Okay, but what if you because hated... you're not catering to me? <laughs> that's not <laughs> as your guest. That's not. That's like saying if I go to a, a function and then the person next to me is vegetarian and I'm not vegetarian, I don't want him to have vegetarian <laughs> food. That's what you're saying. Okay. That anyway, the the point that you're saying here <laughs> is not is not the reason that I hate it. Right? Okay. If if we're all vibing, playing games and shit, and yeah. there's there's a yeah a movie on silent in the background, that's okay. Yeah. But what I don't like about it is when it distracts people, right? Yes. It's yes. It's like when people are on their phones when you're trying to like talk to them. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. That's one of the worst things in the world. <laughs> um, look, I've been guilty of it, but at least I'm aware. Yeah. And like, if I need to quickly message, I'll just be like, "Oh, I am listening. Give me two secs." Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> no, fair enough. Look, the... what I, no, no. Where, where I'm saying is because sometimes. Uh, we've had situations where, you know, we're playing games and this and that, and then it's getting late at night. So then we turn the music off and we put a movie on, but it's a it's a background movie. I've got talking quotes here, a background movie, but the movie's actually playing. And then all of a sudden, because the movie starts playing, everyone stops interacting and now we're watching this movie and it's generally a rubbish movie. <laughs> 
That's what. <laughs> That's that, what I don't like because if that, I'm a, if I'm around a whole bunch of people, I don't want to watch a movie. Like but if that I want to I'll go to the movies. That ends up happening like at the end of the night when nothing's happened, like when everything's finished, right? Yeah, but see me because I'm your guest, right? Yeah. So you need to cater to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only guest. No, no, I'll tell you what it is with my background movie method. It's not there a hundred percent of the time. It's literally. It's the start of the it's the start of the gathering. So at the start, everything's happening. And then we can see where it goes and let's say we start playing a game. You don't need a background movie when you start playing a game. Okay, so let's say it's um, for example, the new Transformers movie. Yes. Right? And people start coming over, you say hi, you start playing some games, but then people look at look at happen to see the TV and they're like, Oh, is that the new Transformers? Yeah. And then they start really getting into it. Yeah. And now they're distracted. From the interaction, yeah, the social interactions. But that's also what I don't like. You got to be clever with the movie you pick. Let's say I do first Transformers. Everyone's seen it. And you don't really care about it. It's just that it's because when the Transformers are transforming, it's cool. So let's say you happen to look at the screen at that time, you're like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's pleasing to the eyes. Let's look away and get back to the game. Yeah, okay. Or, so the first Transformers is fine. First Transformers um, is fine. Second, third, or fourth? No way, because people will get too into it. Yeah, yeah. Even though, like, the last Transformers movie came out years ago. So. I don't even know how many there are. Uh, yeah, I don't even I'm know. I'm just giving an example. Then. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, I don't want people to be distracted yeah. by the what's happening on the TV, um, because man, it's all about the interaction. It's you the know? interaction. I, I I totally agree with that. Like, if I wanted to watch a movie. I'd call up my friends and say, hey, you want to come watch a movie? <laughs> but no, I'm not doing that. I'm but, saying, hey, come and have a few drinks and play some games. This is also so why... that's what we're focusing on. It's what we're focusing on, but it's also why having it on silent is a big plus. Yeah, it is, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's like having music videos on in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, yeah. Mu- music videos are better. Music videos are better. Because... Because you can talk about it. Because you talk about the music video, yeah. you'd be like, oh, I haven't seen this one, and like, oh, look at that, that But is that good. not people getting distracted then? No, because you're actually talking about it. But you can talk about the movie. But you wouldn't. No one talks about movies while movies are playing. Oh, so many people do, especially if you've seen it before. <laughs> especially if you've seen it before. I mean, I do, because I like talking. <laughs> I like talking. But, nah. um, but, but look, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Music videos are fine, because... And at the same time, like, it's a song playing, so you're not, like, fully focused on what's happening. Yeah, it's it's you know? there to to complement the song playing. Yeah, and usually it's a whole bunch of random stuff happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I would say music video is much better. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. No, no, fair, fair, fair. Is I'm there... Later. Now, question. Is there an app or... How do you play music video? Like, if I want to play my own playlist, how yeah. do I match up the music video? Can you do that? Yeah, you just play a YouTube playlist. On your smart ah, TV. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I can't play my Spotify playlist with... You, that's This is also another thing I do. I'll play Spotify, like the Spotify app on the smart TV. And yep, then yep. the visuals on the TV is just what you see on Spotify. So mm, nothing's actually there. Not... It's just yeah. it's, it's a bit plain. Yeah, yeah. But I do that sometimes when I know, you know... Look, it's not 100% of the time I put on a background movie. I'd say it's like 85% of the time. <laughs> That's a lot. That's high. <laughs> but it's not 100%. <laughs> That's high. It's high, but it just depends. It depends. If we're there for a reason, and I, we know what the reason is, I won't put it on. If we're there just gathering, I'll put every option on, and then mm. people can suss out the vibe, and we can go from there. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think, because Spotify playlists are what probably 90... Pe- not, I reckon 90% of people use Spotify. 100%. I totally music. agree. Yeah. I reckon we should advocate for Spotify to load full music videos. Mm. And then you can have the choice whether you want to just leave it on the list of the songs or whatever, or, or if you want to play the music video. Well, have you seen that Spotify has some songs have like a clip yeah, of the video? Yeah, but they only have maybe like 10 seconds that and it just repeats. repeats yeah. Which is okay. It's cool. Yeah, I guess it's, nothing. it's not. It'd be a completely different app if they does had Does that happen on the TV videos. when you're doing it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Interesting. So it helps. It helps just for some mm. visuals. So that is much better than a background movie. That's yeah. what I'm saying. No, no, fair. I, I see your point. I see your point. But you've got to be smart about your background movie choice. You can't put on something like <laughs> Harry Potter. Then no matter how many times you see Harry Potter, you'll get into it. Yeah, yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. Transformers is just like, it's 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 just action. It's just plain, plain action. Yeah, and you don't want to put something like Lord of the Rings where everyone falls asleep. <laughs> 
Would that not be a good background movie then? But then everyone would fall asleep. <laughs> but you're not you're not sitting down to watch it. Yeah, but it just it drains you that much. Yeah, but look, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Each of their own. You nah, still got to see I've it. I've got to still watch that. Now look to top off the episode to finish it off. I've got a I've got to give some credit to Chris here. He's really taken some initiative. I was I was actually going to come and you know almost scold him for being uh, you know so so ignorant about this but he's taken the initiative and he actually came to me about this so i was i was genuinely impressed yeah and what i'm of course talking about is his tattoo punishment of the plain tattoo yeah now the, the absolute ingenious moment of mine it's really not <laughs> if you all remember that but you, continue i'll continue and we'll get back to this later now tattoo pile is one of the earlier things surprisingly to uh, be unlocked after the lockdown mm. so i was like you know what Man, I'll just remind Chris, you know, tattoo parlors are opening. I just never got around to reminding you. <laughs> and then one day, you know, uh, late last week, earlier this week, you sent me a message uh, with a photo mm. of a plane picture. And I was just so impressed with the initiative you took to, uh, you know, to for this punishment. And it was some trash choices, I've got to say. It was some absolute <laughs> trash choices of plane really? tattoos. Really? Initially, initially. Okay. And then okay. it slowly got better. By the end of it, it got better. And I know I've got something to do to help you out here. You asked me, uh, you know, to sort of mock it up on um, your body part, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to have it. I was like, yes, I'm ready to see it. <laughs> no, oh, no. What I a just, disappointment. I just wanted to recognize and give you that recognition of the initiative you took. So thank you very much. It's It shouldn't be too much longer now for this punishment to, you know. Yeah, complete. well, as I said, I'm, I would like to get an aeroplane tattoo 100 percent. i so, love aeroplanes they remind me of going on a trip yeah <laughs> it's true <laughs> now at the moment um like just as a reminder i do have final say on what it is and where it is but at the moment do you i have final say but i will consider your okay. opinion okay at the moment where are you thinking uh i am thinking on my index finger yep on kind of the the inside, like between the index finger and the thumb. Okay, that yeah, yeah, yeah. inside part there. On the, so yeah, yeah, not yeah. the bottom top, but the... Yeah, On the side, side of the index um, finger. I think I was originally just going to go right hand. I just felt like, oh, that's that's a good spot for it. So, yeah, I, yeah, I think right hand. So, are you, yeah. do you have any secondary areas in mind? Uh, I just haven't really thought of another area that would would be as good. Yeah, um, yeah, fair, fair, Because I don't want to get it, like, on my arm, because then it will just be random, and in case I want to get, like, a big tattoo later, yeah, yeah. it won't really work. Yeah, yeah, see what you So mean. I want to put it in a spot that's, yeah, where you can kind of have, like, just a separate tattoo. Yeah, and it also depends on what the uh, image is as well, because, you know, some angles of the plane may not look as good. Yeah, and that's why the one I sent you kind of goes, like, lengthwise. Yeah. Like, with, with sorry, width-wise. With width-wise, yeah. So it would fit, like... On my finger, width, wise, yeah, like like that. I'm just thinking, is it too small? Maybe you have final <laughs> choice. Where right. do you where do you propose? Give me some I, propositions. I wouldn't slap it on your arm because that would just look random. And yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if that would be. I don't know. Maybe your forehead. Or... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. No, 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 we'll mock it up when we figure out the final. You know, let's let's narrow it down to a. Final couple designs. All right, I'm going to give you a deadline of next episode. You need to bring them to me. Okay. Show me a few options. We don't have to decide. I feel like this but... is your punishment. How am I getting a deadline? <laughs> what? You know, out of my own, you know. But but you want me to uh, yeah, do yeah. the punishment. I, I will have it by next week because I want to, not because <laughs> you've given me a deadline. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so I will Look have the something... arrogance on this fella. Um, <laughs> all right, so you... From the few designs I gave you, yeah. mock it up um, by next episode, and because I want th- to think of a f- <laughs> think of a few spots that I could put it, yeah. and we'll kind of we'll do it live on the podcast, yeah, yeah, and we'll kind of yeah see what kind of suits, yeah, yeah, hundred percent sounds right? like a plan. So maybe do a couple of planes that are like wider, Wide. maybe one that's like almost like a square, yeah, like frame wise, yeah, um, yeah, and then we'll find a few bits on the body yeah what, what are you thinking now where do you think i should get it so i'm thinking depending on the um angle of the actual plane i'm thinking maybe something like on your ankle lower ankle mm. you know 
That's all the area. only thing I don't want to do ankle is because I'll never see it. Yeah, and then the gonna, reason yeah. I like the finger is because it's like always there. I can always like yeah. look at it or whatever. But that might it might accidentally look like a mustache tattoo. But it will be. Nah, I don't think so. It'll look like a plane. Yeah, it would, but at a glance, because that's where people get their mustache tattoos. Yeah. Yes. Well, maybe I can get a mustache on the, on the other side of the finger. How cool would that be? I mean, if you want, you 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 can grow a mustache. The little facial hair you can grow, you can actually grow a mustache. Mm. So my mustache isn't great. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, but it's, it's okay. It works. It works. Yeah. So um, all right. Uh, look, I I'm gonna say no to ankle because okay. I'm always wearing socks. I'll never see it. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a fair call. Um, I like finger or... F- yeah, I, I can't think of anywhere else. What other options have you got? What, would you go in a bicep? So the, the inside area of your bicep. like It would, it would be massive then. Co- you could keep it small. So close to the underarm, but not under your arm. <laughs> you know? Possibly. Possibly? Okay. It's well, an option. We'll, we'll have a look at you what... You seem to be against the finger. I just... Because th- you, you think it's too small. It's small, and I feel like... But for the type of tattoo that the plane is, it's kind of a small style tattoo It is a small style tattoo, yeah. But... (sighs) But it will also keep in the $100 limit, because remember, if it goes over, you have to pay the... (laughs) You have to pay for the full tattoo. It'll be in the $100 limit, I guarantee, but I just feel like... I feel like even you won't end up liking it on the inside of the finger. Alright, we'll have to mock it up then. We'll we'll mock it up, and we'll Mm. have a sus. Yep. All right, well, uh, that'll do us for this episode. Uh, tune in next week and um, we'll do it live. I don't know if we have the capacity to potentially video it. Let's Wait, are we... we're not doing the actual tattoo to next week. <laughs> no. he, he just we're talk. just going to mock it up on the body. <laughs> no, nah, we'll just... You can just hear us do it. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll talk about it. But yeah, that is all for this week. So thank you once again for tuning in. And we will catch you on the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.